God bless y'all. You already know what time it is. It's Kingdom Business. It's your boy Will here. Share this message. Bring it to light. Somebody needs to hear this message today. Right now. You see, there was a video I was watching. I'm not going to say the person's name. But um, he has a lot of followers. Um, He is, you know, a man who speaks truth. You know, um, I watch his videos, you know. And I love him. He is my brother. Because, um... All of us know that once we come in Christ, we are a family. And um, in the beginning of the video, he started ripping pages out of the Bible. And he was asking us, you know, whoever was watching, does that feel good? You know, does that make you feel mad? And he kept ripping pages out of the Bible. And I'm sitting here and I'm just like, are you kidding me? Ripping pages out of the Bible. The word of God. And I might get some shun for this. I might get some feedback. People telling me, you know, and agreeing with him. And that's all right. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. But see, it's not our opinion that matters. But it's the word of God that matters. Just as people, just as he speaks truth, I'm speaking truth right now. You see, never in scripture... In these 66 books, 36 old, 27 new, will you ever see God say, rip the word out? You see, it's impossible to relate to what Jesus said to Satan. When Satan asks Jesus to turn this stone into bread, and what is Jesus' response? Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. How can we... As the church or people that are sinners hear the word when we're ripping scriptures out of the word. How does that make any sense? But yet, because this person has a lot of followers and he encourages people every single day, they agree with him. You see, I don't agree with ripping anything out of this Bible. I don't care if you're legalistic. I don't care if you're dealing with politic, politically correctly. I don't care what it is. If it's not in the word, it don't. Make sense. Can you imagine the Apostle Paul ripping scriptures out of the Bible? Oh, they had a Bible? Well, yeah, of course they did. They had manuscripts back then. How do we know this? Well, it was clear when Jesus was in the temple and he was presenting one of the most famous scriptures in the book of Isaiah. That the Spirit is upon me. That the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel, the good news. Jesus, this is New Testament. When Jesus was in the synagogues and the disciples were with him. So it's clear that they had manuscripts, that they had the word of God. Can you imagine Jesus ripping up the scripture, ripping up the manuscript because he fulfilled the prophecy? No. No. You do not rip the word of God. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. Sharper than any two-edged sword. How can you rip the word of God out? And say that this is good. Does this make you mad? Jesus would never do something like that. No matter how mad he was. No matter if he was trying to make a point. You see, how can you rip the word of God and say you hear God when God's always speaking through his word? That makes no sense. You're contradicting yourself. You see, God is always speaking through his word. You see, everything in the Bible is here. If you're mad, there's scriptures in here for you to be happy. If you need healing, it's in here. If you need power, it's in here. If you need a prophetic word, it's in here. If you need to know what to do in life, it's in here. If you need to know how to live a healthy life, it's in here. Every answer known to man on this planet, it's in here. And it's proven by scientists, by doctors, by archaeologists, genealogists. Bible scholars, proving that the Bible has every answer. But yet, people are agreeing to rip the word of God out. Makes no sense to me. You see, I know <clears throat> what God said. God said, don't eat, add or take from my word. And if you're trying to take from his word to prove a point, then you automatically end the wrong. 
You see, just because somebody speaks of God doesn't mean they are of God. You see, you know what a wolf does after he kills a sheep? He takes the sheep's clothing and puts it over him and runs into the pack of sheep to devour more sheep. You see, it's like that today. People say one thing and they agree with them because they have 14K followers. But it's not about the followers. Because Jesus only had 12. And that 12 did miracles, wonders. Why? Because they relied on the word of God, not people's opinions. You see, I don't care about your opinion or how you feel or how do you present something. Because if it's not in this Bible, it's wrong. Did Jesus tell you? To go in this word and rip out this? Who cares if a preacher is not preaching the way you want him to preach? That's his fault. He has to be before the judgment seat of Christ. But for you, and you know the word, quote unquote, and you going to rip pages out of the Bible? I don't agree with you. I don't. Because this is what we stand on. Our, grand, our grandmothers, our grandfathers, our mothers, our fathers standed on the word of God. And not once did they ever rip the word of God. No, there's not holes in the Bible. There's holes in people who present the scriptures of the Bible. You see, the Bible is not a mistake. You saying that there's holes in the Bible means that the Bible is a mistake. The Bible is not a mistake. Better yet, the Bible is the truth because I hear John say, he who the sun sets free is what? Free indeed. You see, we need to start standing up for the real truth. Not be scared to let people know that they're wrong. So for all of you that's going to shun me for this video, I don't care. Because I live by the word of God. I just don't walk it. I love y'all. It's kingdom business. God bless y'all. Peace.